Good evening. Thanks for joining us. This weekend marks six months since the launch of the new 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. It was a big change from the nine digit toll free number it replaced. Yeah, the goal is to get immediate help to people in crisis. Tonight, the night team's Alyssa Cole spoke with the people in charge of the South Texas area. They say that Lifeline has been life saving, but not without some challenges. This week, the family of celebrity dancer and DJ Steven Twitch boss breaking silence and confirming Twitch's passing by taking his own life. And Carmen Martinez says his death resonates with her. People said, but he looked so happy and he looked so, you know, like he had it all together. And those were exactly the same words that I heard when my friend passed away. She lost a friend to suicide now a decade ago. It pushed Martinez into the path of becoming a mental health advocate for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. I'm not always telling people suicide is preventable, but it's hard and it's a hard struggle. She's raising awareness of suicide prevention during the six month anniversary of the 988 suicide in crisis lifeline. Her colleague Julia Hewitt is the chapter chairwoman for AFSP, and she says since the creation of 988, crisis support calls are increasing. I believe just in the six short months, the usage actually doubled um, of the resource versus the entire year before. So Hewitt says part of the reason more lifeline calls are coming in right now is because of the holiday season, a time known for grief and seasonal depression. For the last couple of years, relationships and social connections have probably eroded a little bit, you know, and so there's a little bit more isolation possibly that individuals find themselves uh, in. The AFSP South Texas chapter is responsible for 42 counties. While they're excited their mission to make crisis support more accessible is working, they're asking people to volunteer and support their efforts. Once the individual sort of exits that hot moment, they're okay. And they typically also from research, they don't go on to try again. Keep in mind to volunteer with AFSP. You don't have to be a professional psychologist or social worker. You just have to be a passionate person who cares about helping others. But of course, if you are a professional, you are encouraged to sign up and volunteer as well. All those details are on our website at KSAT.com. Alyssa Cole, KSAT 12 News.